Welcome to Explore 2018. There are many events planned to help you as a student discover the possibilities available in the Appleton Area School District to be college and career ready. In the next 20 minutes, we will learn about how to incorporate graduation requirements and career exploration into your 2018-2019 academic school year. To graduate from the Appleton Area School District, a student must have a minimum of 23 credits in specific curricular areas, four years of English language arts, three years of mathematics, three years of science, including a life science, a physical science, and an elective science of the student's choosing. They must have three credits of social studies, including civics, global studies, and US history. Students must have one and a half credits of physical education or three semesters, a semester of health, one full credit of fine art, and a half a credit of personal financial management or intro to economics. The remaining six and a half credit electives can be customized based on your individual academic and career goals. Many of our students at North seek education and training within the UW system of colleges and universities. The next slide is produced by the UW system and the information provided is to help you to learn more about what you will need to plan for admissions in addition to recommended activities for high school students to be college and career ready as they enter into a four-year college system. Going to college is like discovering a new and exciting world full of new experiences and opportunities. However, getting there requires careful planning and hard work. UW Health is here to help you plan to become a student at one of the 26 great campuses that make up the University of Wisconsin system. It is never too early to begin preparing for college. Did you know that there are minimum high school course requirements at each UW campus? To get a jump on your college career, make sure you take at least four years of English, including writing and literature courses, three years of math, which may include algebra, geometry, and other higher math courses, three years of natural science courses, like chemistry, biology, and physics, three years of social science courses, like history and ethics, four years of electives, like computer science or fine arts. Some schools even require two years of foreign language, but it is helpful no matter where you apply. Strive to take courses that challenge you. You may even be able to take college courses while you're still in high school. It's a great way to get a head start, so ask your counselor to learn more. Taking the right steps in high school is important, but there is even more you can do to prepare yourself for college, like taking part in pre-college programs, where students like you can spend time on campus getting a feel for what college life is like. And it's never too early to start planning for college tuition and expenses. Saving up is important, but applying for financial aid and finding the right grants and scholarships can be a huge help. The most important thing is to remember that you are not alone on your journey to college. Reach out to counselors, parents, and university staff for whatever help and guidance you need. Get excited and let your discovery begin. A significant number of North students seek education and training through the Wisconsin Technical System. The two closest campuses are the Fox Valley Technical College in Appleton and the Northeast Technical College in Green Bay. To prepare for the technical system, it is recommended students exceed graduation requirements and seek dual credit opportunities in their junior and senior years in high school. Here's a look at what FVTC has to offer.
you enjoy hands-on learning and value real-world education, the technical system could be for you. For more information about the technical system, stop by the counseling office or schedule a visit at one of our local campuses. Students, we're now going to talk about our English language arts requirement. Four credits are required, so next year we'll need to pick a course. Let me tell you your choices. Your first choice you could choose from is American Literature and Composition. Then we offer a course 3030E, which is American Studies. And when we get to the history slide, we'll also offer 3030H, which is the American Studies history portion of this course. We also will offer AP English Language and Composition, if you'd like to take this as an AP course. And then we also offer AP American Studies. AP American Studies is a course where you will take an English class that's AP, and then when we get to the history slide, an AP American Studies history course goes along with this. We also offer English electives. And let's see if I can draw kind of a, a circle around them. All these course descriptions are in our course description guide available online. Feel free to talk to your English teacher about any of these electives. And also feel free to talk to your English teacher about what English course they would recommend for you to take for next year. Now let's talk about our science requirements. At least three science credits are required to graduate. Some of our students will take more, but three are required to graduate. A physical science is required, a biological science or life science is required, and then one other science credit. Most of you this year are probably either in life science or biology, and then we'll have some of our students that are in general chem or chemistry. If you are in biology or life science, and also remember, some of our science courses have math prerequisites, so make sure you talk to your counselor about that or look in the AASD course description guide. But students that are in a life science may choose to take a chemistry course, an environmental science course, or any of our science elective courses that go all the way down here. Our students that are in chemistry right now, or general chemistry, might choose to go on and take any of these courses. And all these courses will be open to them. The best person to talk to your science about science with would be your science teacher. Currently, they know where your skill level is, and I know they'd be happy to recommend a science course for you to take for next year. We're now going to talk about social studies. The Appleton Area School District requires at least three credits of social studies to graduate from an Appleton High School. Your choices next year are going to revolve around U.S. history. First, let me dot 3070 U.S. history. If you remember back to the English slide when I talked about 3030E, American Studies English, here's the companion course, 3030H, American Studies History. Down here, one of your choices could be 3050, AP U.S. History. And then again, if you remember back to that English slide when I talked to you about 3060E, AP American Studies English, here is 3060H. AP American Studies History. Again, if you're not sure what course to take, talk with your world history teacher um, that you have right now. They'd be happy to recommend a course to you. The Social Studies Department also offers electives. Let me put a bracket around those electives, and if you have room in your schedule, you might even take more credits of Social Studies. I also wanted to note to you up on top, some of our electives are dual credit, Psych 1, Psych 2, and Sociology are dual credit courses, which means if you meet the requirements in those courses, you can receive credit 
not only here at North, but one of the post-secondary institutions that you may choose after high school. So those are your social studies credits for next year. It's important for all students in making their choices for the upcoming school year in mathematics that they consult with their current math teacher. You and your math teacher will chart your progress in math and determine the most appropriate math placement for next year. For today's purposes, we've listed all of the classes that are available in mathematics to students. But for a more comprehensive list, including descriptions and prerequisites, please go to the Appleton Area School District website. To showcase how math sequencing works, we've provided three sample students. Sample student one, this student started in Algebra A as a freshman. Sample student two, this student started in Algebra one as a freshman. And sample three, the student started in Geometry. You will note as by the Appleton Area School District logo that each student attained three years of mathematics in their sequencing. However, the level for which they attained that benchmark is different for each of them. You will also note that for many colleges, they require a minimum of Algebra 2 or Algebra 2 for pre-calculus to meet admission requirements. You also note that each student attained these benchmarks at different levels. It is recommended that all students in the Appleton Area School District complete four years of mathematics to be college and career ready. Now that you have learned about all of the opportunities in the Appleton Area School District, it's now time to start the scheduling process for the 2018-19 school year in three simple steps. First, choosing a plan that will fit your academic goals and your graduation goals. Step two, accurately completing the scheduling worksheet, and step three, entering your course request into the student portal. Planning your schedule for next year should take time and should involve you having conversations with your teachers, counselor, and parents. Keep in mind we are working to build skills to support your plans after high school graduation. Think about what's going to motivate you to do your best and how Appleton North can help you find what careers are of interest to you. Each grade has corresponding academic goal as seen on the screen. The senior academic plan, the junior academic plan, and the sophomore academic plan. Each year as you choose your courses, make sure you keep in mind any academic suggestions made by potential colleges in your future. In addition, by the end of your high school experiences, students should have completed at least one job shadow. If you are wondering how you will do this, there are numerous classes that you can take at North that will have a job shadow experience as part of the class. Don't forget to plan for your PFM, Fine Art, and PE classes, and to plan for an internship through the CT Internship Program or the Youth Apprenticeship Program. Finally, as you put your courses together, make sure you check the credit value for each of the courses you've chosen and have the correct course numbers. When you have thoughtfully created an academic and career plan, you will have a better chance at meeting all of your academic, career, and life goals, which means you will be college and career ready. All students will personally enter their own course requests for the 2018-19 school year into Infinite Campus. This process will start January 22nd and end February 2nd. To help students, you will receive a schedule planning worksheet in Homeroom to organize your academic goals, career interests, and your progress towards graduation. Let's take a moment to organize your course requests using the schedule planning worksheet. First, your homeroom advisor will be collecting your worksheet on January 12th, so please make sure you put your name on the very top. On the right-hand side is a review of graduation requirements and expected academic sequencing for each grade. Keep in mind that students who are also attending a charter school will customize this course sequence. Please see your individual charter school for more information. The first section under academic goals and graduation requirements is for students to start filling in their requests. For example, if you are scheduling for sophomore year, you will list the name and course number for your choices in mathematics, social studies, science, and ELA. 
students will also list their first choice in physical education. If you are a junior or senior, you may also write down your selection for the personal finance, which is also a graduation requirement. The next section is for career and personal interests. Students will write down their choices in the areas of world language, art, music, engineering, business, marketing, skilled trades, health science, family, consumer, or educational career interests. The next section is your credit total. Students who are in 9th, 10th, or 11th grade will have a credit total of at least 6 credits. Seniors can have a minimum of 5 credits. Some of the most common mistakes for students to make is entering in the wrong course request numbers and not understanding different credit values classes may have. A class can have either a 0.5 credit value, which is a semester course, a 1.0 credit value, which is a full year course, or some cases there is a 2.0 credit value. To make sure you have the correct numbers and the correct credit value, you are encouraged to look at the course description guide for more information. The last section is for your alternate courses. Students should be putting down one credit of an alternate elective course um, in, the, in the first section. You should also enter a semester alternate course. In this section, you can also enter a second choice for your physical education request. Again, all of these course requests will be reviewed and doing this in advance will help that process go smoother when you enter your course requests in the weeks of January 22nd through February 2nd. If you are looking for more information about any of the courses you've heard about, you can go to the Appleton Area School District's Course and Career Planning Guide. This guide is located on the main page on the Appleton Area School District website and can be found under Teaching and Learning. If you would like to add the charter school experience to your high school education, the Appleton Area School District has multiple opportunities for you. Renaissance, ATEC, Fox Cities Leadership Academy, and Tesla, just to name a couple. To learn more about these charter schools or to learn how to apply, go to their individual websites for more information. I had always drawn as a little kid. I drew on walls, and then I drew in class, and I never got in trouble for it. I was always the kid that liked building the skateboard ramp more than actually skating on it. In my late 20s, I decided that I really was in love with cooking. I was hospitalized. Just that experience was really kind of a life changer. I really was like, wow, this is something that I think I could do well. Ever since I was a kid, my mom, she'd help me make my clothes. I had something that was so special and different, and I put my heart and soul into it. I actually got this job by going door to door and knocking on every single door, just slipping my portfolio under the door until, you know, someone finally gave me an interview. My advice is be really true to yourself and let your work speak for itself. My name is Victoria Sun, and this is my day in the life.